it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Well, I have a, a lot of baggage. I really do. What am I talking about? I'm talking about AliExpress baggage. That's right, I went nuts uh, last year. I think I spent about $2,000 or maybe $3,000 on AliExpress in total, and I got bags, phone cases, clothes, all sorts of things, everything you can imagine. So today's video is having a little look-see at all of the bags that I bought. Now this isn't going to be first impressions or unboxings or anything like that because I've actually been using all of these bags for over a year now. I think that I placed this order, maybe it was in October last year, and I have used every single one of these bags. They are tried and tested. I can give you a thorough review of all of them. Can I just say, I am so impressed. I'm going to start, start the video. The TLDR of this entire video is buy bags from AliExpress. They're great. The first thing that I have right here in front of me. This is a acrylic plastic bag. Now this is a box as you can see. It clips open like this. This bad boy can fit so many almonds. I've taken this a lot of places with me. I put phones in there, a purse, keys, stuff like that. It's just the essentials. You know like this is a cute quirky bag that you can take out with you on a night out kind of thing. It's uh, liquidy inside and when this arrived I thought that it was broken because the inside of it was a little bit wet and I thought that it might have been leaking. I messaged them through the AliExpress app and I was like the bag is wet and they were like hello dear please show us photos. So I sent them pictures and then they told me to wipe the inside and if it got wet again then they would send me a new one. Luckily when I wiped it that was that was the end of it. It was completely fine. So I don't know what was going on there but aside from that this is a beautiful perfect bag. It was a little bit expensive but at the time when I bought it, I was like, you know what, if this is good, I don't mind spending that sort of money. And it turned up, and I remember when I opened this package, I was like, oh my god, I was so shocked because it's amazing. Like, it's really, really hard plastic. So that holographic love hearts, ir or iridescent love hearts, sorry, Christine, don't come for me. Next up, while we're on the topic of hollow versus iridescent, we have a holographic clamshell bag. This one has a little surprise on the inside. Yes, it looks really, really cool like this, but on the inside, look at the strap. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See this? It's got these little pearls on it. It's a nice added touch having those. Just sort of brings a little bit of mermaid elegance to the look. And yes, once again, this bad boy can hold so many almonds as well. This one was pretty cheap. I don't really use it very often just because of how loud it is, but I've lent it out to a few friends because I have friends that are like, can I take that to a party or can I wear that to this thing I'm going to? It has had some good use. It stayed in very good condition. The only problem is the strap is like, because it's this kind of like plasticky material, the strap kind of bends funny and it doesn't really, it takes a while for the strap to unbend. So that's the only issue with it, but aside from that, this bag sits on my mermaid shelf with all my other iridescent holographic mermaid themed things and it always catches people's attention when they walk through the doors. So this one, once again, love this. Next up is the only bag that I was slightly disappointed with because in the pictures it looked a lot better than this. I have a feeling this might be a copy of a bag from another brand because in the pictures it almost looked like a hard shell bag and it looked very very shapely but this is like you, you can fold it up and scrunch it and all sorts of things and you can chew on it it's just big enough to fit a phone fit some almonds fit your keys it is very cute with a little daisy that's for sure and i've had a lot of compliments from it when i've worn it out people are like oh your bag is so cute where'd you get it this is the only thing that didn't look like the pictures it's the only thing that i wasn't blown away by and uh, i guess because it's kind of like greenish blue archie's probably very hurt and offended that I would say such things about his favourite colour. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. Next up is a bag that people do not stop asking me about. This is a Sailor Moon bag. This is made exceptionally well. It's something that I have raved about for so long and every time I wear it out, oh sorry, sorry, people are like, where'd you get your bag? It's incredible. I have a feeling, I mean, if it's a copy, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. If it's a copy, it's a very, very, very good copy. So it comes with a couple of straps. You put the straps on this center part here and you can put them both down either side like this to make it into a backpack or you can wear it the way I have it at the moment, which is a handbag. I see these bags everywhere. I see them on Wish and AliExpress and I see them on San Red. But honestly, I feel like this one from AliExpress is the best one of all of them. Some of the others look a little bit wonky, you know, like the 
sad stepsister of Cinderella. That's what they look like. But this one looks perfectly formed. I do love it. It's the most adorable bag ever. I wear it all over the place. It's actually really, really big on the inside. What's in there? It's very, very big on the inside, just to give you an idea. Here's Archie's Armands in a big tub. And they fit in there like this. And we can fit my phone. And we could probably even fit Archie too. Do you want to adventure in there to get the almonds? Are you brave enough, sir? Are you brave enough? What's in there? So the great thing about it is it's really wide at the base, so you can actually carry the majority of the stuff at the bottom and then you can stack things up. This is like Hermione Granger's bag, like it holds an unthinkable amount of stuff. So it's perfect for a hoarder like me that carries useless things everywhere I go. Oh yes, good, good choice Archie. Archie's just brought this bag to my attention. Now there's a trend in Japan known as the Ita bag. Basically, it's a bag with a big plastic window in the front and you're meant to put all sorts of cute things in there. So people like to put pins and they like to put toys and you can literally put anything in an Ita bag. And that's exactly what this is. And these come in so many different styles and colors and shapes and sizes. Of course I got the pink one, but they do have an entire set on this particular listing on AliExpress. I think it was like, there was blue and pink and white and black and all sorts of colors. It's a very, very appropriate size. And this is the sort of bag that when I pulled it out of the parcel, I was shocked by how well made it is. What do you think? Is it a good bag? Do you like it? Oh, I think we like it. What's in there, Archie? Look, it, we can both fit in here. That's how big it is. We can both fit in here. I don't think you could fit a laptop, but you could definitely fit a bird. What are you looking at? Is Archie in that bag? Is no. Archie in the bag? No. Okay. I don't believe you. I took this to Japan with me and I wore it all over the place. The straps, because it's such a good quality bag, I did think that the straps would fall apart and they break and fray at the edges, but they didn't. I've had so much wear out of this. So this is probably in my top three out of all the bags that I bought. You'll see what my number one bag is soon, but this is this is definitely top three and I think it is a pretty appropriate size for school as well. So love this one. Let's get some more of unicorn skin up in here. So this one feels very cheap, like it, it was cheap and it feels cheap, but it does look very, very cool. I have not worn this a huge amount compared to the other items here. I've worn it a little bit. I'm one of those people that, like some of those stuff in my bag is a bit weird and questionable when I go out, so I don't really want people looking into my handbag. You know, if you're just taking a phone and keys and that sort of thing is perfect. It catches the light in such an amazing way. I remember once Dan and I were driving and I had this on my lap, and as we were driving, it was picking up the light and people were like glancing into the car because it looked like we were having a disco in there. It was reflecting like crazy. So this is really cool. I love all sorts of bags like this. I also got this one too, which is, you know, very, very similar in terms of the unicorn skin, but it's this teeny tiny little bag. And it kind of reminds me, I think it's of a Chanel design or th there's a designer bag that I think that this is a knockoff of. I can't remember what it is. It might be Fendi. Someone tell me down below what the designer bag is, but this one, the, the metal strap feels really, really good. It was a little bit creased and crushed up when it arrived to me, but I didn't mind because, you know, it's such an awesome looking bag. It's so sweet and quaint and absolutely adorable. And every time I wear this out, people are like, oh, your bag is so cute, it's so cute. If I lost this, I would go out of my way to buy another one because I love it so much. Next up is a bag that's a little bit controversial because I didn't know what this meant in any way at all. There's a word on this bag and I took a photo of it and I put it up on Instagram and I got roasted. Here, let me, let me hold it up. Maybe, maybe you guys will understand why. I, I have since been informed as to why. Do you see this? See, to me, there's someone just having a little browse through AliExpress. I was like, oh look, a cute pink holographic bag. That's cool, I'm gonna get it. And it says crybaby. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> and the internet seems to not like the phrase crybaby because it is associated with uh, melanoma martini. 
Unfortunately for me, I haven't been able to wear this one out because I'm too scared of getting king hit in the back of the head because people might think that I support sexual assault or something. If you know what I'm talking about, feel free to have a discussion down below. That'll drive my engagement up, it always does. I haven't been able to wear this bag out, but if you support Melanoma Martini, or if you just like the phrase crybaby, maybe you like the Johnny Depp movie, I don't know, maybe you should go for this one because it's very, very well made. It's huge, it'll fit my laptop. It just doesn't fit, but it would fit a 13 inch laptop. It'll definitely fit books and stuff like that, but you know, if you kind of want to stay out of the drama, then maybe avoid this one. Archie, if you, if you want to destroy it, that's fine because I'm never going to get any use out of it. No. Licky, licky, licky. This next bag has served me very, very well. This is a Neko bag, it's a cat bag. Kind of looks a little bit like a Konkan. I think you say it as Konkan. Kind of reminds me of that because it's got these two little straps on the top. I have worn the heck out of this, literally worn the heck out of it. It has not broken, I have put so many heavy things in it. Oh, uh, actually, I lie, it has broken. Because I've been wearing it almost every day for a year, I actually snapped the zipper the metal part of the zipper here, because of how many times I opened and closed it, it kind of broke a little bit. The zipper itself still works. This fits my laptop perfectly, and I really like that because it's kind of like squared off the edges, it just fits things in it really, really snugly. Laptop fits in there very snugly, like this. It's got a big pocket at the front with the cat on it, and it's got two pockets on the side, which fit water bottles and things like that. Like I said, I have worn this everywhere. This comes in multiple different colors. Very similar to one that I got on Wish for my back to school haul. That one was made of a slightly thicker material and opened in a different way. Cannot rave about this highly enough. I have worn it everywhere, almost every day. What do you think? Do you like it? Oh, just be nice. Be nice, be friends, be friends. Oh, oh. Uh, when this bag arrived, it mermaid my day because it is a mermaid backpack and once again, this, I remember when I pulled this out of the bag, I was like, whoa, it's so nice. It's so well made. This is the front here. This is kind of like a vinyl-y material and it feels really, really good. I love the huge pocket at the front of this. I normally, oh, this has stuff from Japan in it. What's this? Miyagi Zao Fox Village. Ah, yes, I went to the Fox Village last time I was in Japan. I did film a vlog about that. If you'd like to see me post that vlog, please let me know. There's pictures of me on Instagram in Japan. I wore this absolutely everywhere. I took a couple of bags to Japan, but this is the one that I got the most wear out of. I loved it. It's very, very durable. I was carrying, I carried my laptop all over the country, obviously because I was filming videos and editing them and posting. So I had my laptop, I fit my DSLR and a spare lens. So that's like a good six kilos, I reckon, all up that I was carrying in here. And I was carrying a water bottle and I was carrying a jumper. This fits a lot of stuff. Wait, does it do, are we about to do the bird test, huh? Go out of your way to try and buy this, so I would definitely, definitely say. Do you like it, Archie? How many almonds can you fit in this bad boy? No, I'm not calling you a bad boy. Second last bag. You guys will probably recognize this. I'm sure people have seen this everywhere. I think most stores seem to sell this bag in some way, shape or form. It's a unicorn handbag. I haven't worn this out of the house that much, but I have worn it in a lot of photo shoots and I've worn it to friends places and stuff like that, but I haven't really worn it to shopping centers in public. It is very, very beautiful, very well made. I found this in a multiple different styles on AliExpress, but I chose this one because I thought that this was the most aesthetically pleasing looking unicorn, uh, the least derpy looking unicorn. It's iridescent. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the unicorn on the back, which did make me kind of sad. Hey! Ugh. Yeah, it did make me kind of sad that there wasn't a unicorn face on the back because it means that you do always have to wear it in one particular direction. But I don't think it matters too much because the face of it is just so cute. It's actually a relatively big bag, like it can fit your phone. This could probably fit, I don't know, maybe a camera as well. What do you think, Archie? Do you like it? Maybe if uh, we come out with merch, we should make an Archie head bag. Wouldn't that be cute? Last but not least is the bag that I am most excited about. I love this bag to the moon and back a thousand times. Are you ready? Brace yourself. Look at this. 
pins not included. So this is another Eater bag. The window is huge, absolutely huge. So I've started to fill out the pin collection. My friend bought me some pins for my birthday. So I've started to fill it out. Hopefully I will cover this whole thing in adorable pins. Pink and white is my all time favorite color combination, like a baby pastel pink. So this is perfect, but it does come in other colors as well. It's got this beautiful bow on the front. It's made of really thick material. And I've carried some very heavy, heavy things in here and it handles it fine. Look how big this is on the inside. This bag is very big, carries a lot. It's very, very cute. It's got these little, oh no, don't break the pins. No, no, no. It's got gold details on the zips. I think you can probably see here. It's got a couple of little pockets on the inside that basically you could just hold maybe like your bus pass or something like that. I really like that it's pink on the inside. Sometimes you can get backpacks that are really, really dark on the inside. Like for example, this mermaid bag. This is a little bit dark on the inside. And if you're in low light conditions, it's really hard to find stuff on the inside of your bag. So I love that this is pink on the inside because you can see everything in there. You can find all of your lost almonds when you lose them in the bag. Don't show our friends your bum, that's so rude. Put that away. Sorry about that, sorry you had to see that. That's all of the bags. I highly, highly recommend AliExpress for handbags and backpacks and purses, all sorts of things. They have everything. If you just go on the site and you type in kawaii or you type in harajuku or you type in Japanese style or Korean style, you will find all of this stuff and more. You'll see the most unique bags on this website that you probably won't be able to buy in stores in your own country. Now something that I do want to address that a few people said to me on my last AliExpress video, they said something like when they tried to order, huh? AliExpress asked them for verification by sending their bank details and photo ID or a bank statement. Look, I have never ever ever experienced that and I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if that's your bank seeing that the transaction is coming from China and maybe flagging it as suspicious, I'm not sure. Now, I think I only saw maybe three or four comments from people saying that they experienced that, but if anyone else has experienced that, please let me know below. I've never once seen that, so it does leave me a little bit skeptical. My personal recommendation is that I find that unusual and I wouldn't be comfortable sending photo ID and bank statements and stuff like that off to a seller from AliExpress. If I find any more information about it, I will leave some hyperlinks in the description below because I find it very unusual. I'm gonna try and do a bit more research into it and find out what that is all about. So if you've tried to buy something and you've experienced that, just check my description box. I'll try and put some information about it down there. I'll try and talk to some other people that may have also experienced that too. But anyway, I have a whole bunch of other AliExpress videos to come. I have like phone cases and I've got shoes and I've got more clothes, so many skirts. The skirts that you can buy on AliExpress are beautiful. I could even do a ball gown haul, like a prom dress haul or something if you guys like. If you have any fun ideas, let me know below. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Uh, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. There is a green bird on this channel. If you like birds, definitely subscribe because he's in every single video and he always will be. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!